this on. <gasps> okay, Lisa, don't get scared, but this, this is my junk room. <laughs> oh my gosh. Long. I know, but oh, it's a mess right now. All of my miscellaneous things are just stuffed in the corners. Uh -huh. We've been using it as just kind of like random storage space. Okay. But I, I love this room. I think there's a lot of great natural light. Mm -hmm. I think it would be a beautiful dressing room, maybe a vanity, okay. a beautiful space where I could shoot YouTube videos. Just kind of have a really nice display set up uh -huh. at all times that okay. I don't have to like put together every time I want to shoot something. I have the master bedroom closet. It's mm -hmm. all full of my things. <laughs> Sorry, G. <laughs> I can keep most of my wardrobe there, okay. but this would be great to kind of display my nicest shoes, bags. Definitely need a full length mirror. Mm -hmm. If I could just have like one section where I could set up maybe even just a few outfits, uh -huh. just a few outfits, like the complete look from head to toe, mm -hmm. that'd be amazing. Okay. That yeah. sounds great. What about mirrors and can we play with the ceiling and yes. all of that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're free to play with the space. Okay. Um, the carpet I'm not in love with, uh -huh. but we can't remove it. Okay. So. I don't know what you think. So maybe an area rug we could do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. Seating for the vanity and yeah. just to hang out in. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to measure the space okay. and then um, go back to the drawing board, just come up with some concepts. And I think when I come back next, um, I'll show you some materials and also the design and the drawings. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> This is what I'm thinking. Okay. You walk in. Uh huh. This vanity, I want to do a floating vanity. It's going to oh. have a glass top on it, so you can, you know, see everything that you have. It's going to be very organized on the inside of the drawers. Uh huh. Um, so it's like a display of your favorite makeup in there that you can see right away. Love that. Um, here, I thought it could be fun to do floating shelves where you can store extra makeup. Love that. And Made then that. here, <laughs> like really fun to do, you know, just clean floating shelves for shoes, handbags, everything on display. Yes. Um, and then this could be just for the hanging, for the staging area for the clothing that you have. Perfect. So, you know I need that. <laughs> <laughs> now for the fun part. Oh. Seeing it in 3D. Oh so, I wanted to show you that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh. I mean, it's, so it's one thing to see it in these drawings, yeah. but then to see here. it here. So, the window. Wow. Some kind of treatment there. And then the floating shelves for shoes, handbags. Oh my gosh. A rug, floating vanity. This is a dream. <laughs> so oh my gosh. Is... It looks like so a you see the mirror, right? <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. And then beautiful. the floating shelves for the makeup. That's so, extra amazing. makeup there. Oh, wow. Yeah, everything, everything I wanted, <laughs> everything's here. Anything you don't like or you want to change? No changes. Okay. When can we make this happen? So <laughs> now, I mean, I'm so glad that you like everything. Yeah. Um, now we just start fabricating. So we'll start building and purchasing. Then we'll come back and do the full installation. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love it. So today is installation day at Jessie's. I'm super excited for her. We're bringing in the mirrors, the drapes, the floating shelves, the vanity. So all of that's going in today. And then we're gonna be installing the furniture. So I'm super excited. I'm a little bit stressful because we have to get everything done, but I can't wait for Jessie to see the final reveal. Ready? Oh, oh my God, <laughs> Lisa! Oh my God! Do you like oh it? God. No, I'm literally like speechless. Is this it what? It's like a dream. <laughs> like, oh my God! Here you go. Oh. Sparkling grape juice. <laughs> Thank Cheers. Yeah. Oh my God, Lisa! This is a, so much better than I even dreamed it to be. So here, your purse shelves. Oh my God. Great way for you to display what you have yes. and not have them, you know, so cluttered. We stuff some with purse pillows yeah. so that it maintains its shape. Smart. <laughs> See that I don't think about stuff yeah. like that and then I have crinkled bags. 
This is your custom wall-to-wall -wall oh mirror for God. your staging area. I love this because I always want a place to kind of like hang up my daily uh -huh. looks that I'm gonna shoot mm -hmm. and be able to see like what shoes, what bag should I pair with them. So this is like so beyond ideal. Even just the mirror there with your vanity mirror yes. and just making the space feel so much so bigger. Open. Yeah. Here we've got the floating corner shelves for your yes. shoes. They look so good. And yeah, I love just like how thoughtful you are to create like different spaces for the different sized shoes, you know? So these were custom drapes by Galaxy. Oh, they're beautiful. Aren't they so beautiful? I love how they really dress up the room uh -huh. too. They really just like make the space feel soft. It finishes it yeah. and it brings in the natural light, which I like. This is my favorite part of yeah. it. This is I think this right is my here. favorite this is, too. <laughs> this is my dream. Oh my gosh. First of all, how cute are these little. Right? The little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With the acrylic. This is lips, face, and eyes. Oh my god. So, so it's good. organized into compartments. I'm just so excited too to finally have a great spot where I can just sit down and shoot my daily YouTube tutorials because I haven't had that. The chair. The chair. Oh my god. So we did a sheepskin throw over it and then it's got a little pillow so you'll be comfortable. I love all the fuzzy accents. I love that it feels like comfy yet still so chic. I love it for you. Yeah. Right? And then these shelves finally are floating shelves for perfume and yeah. hair care and products that you get. So this is just a great way for you to display it and see what you have. Exactly. Because I do get a lot of product mm -hmm. and then I'll like shove it in a bag and not know where it ever went. Yeah. So it's so good to have this. It's my dream room, Yay. Lisa. Thank you You're so much. You're welcome. Thank you, seriously. It's beyond my dreams. Well, you were a dream to work with. Best of luck to you. I think Thank you're so you. great. Thank you. You're, You're my goals. Because, wow, I mean, how incredible. It's just, it's just beyond. Like, I just, it's a dream. A dream room. Oh. And cheers. Cheers. Thank you. You're welcome. So, first question is, yes. what kind of tips do you have for maximizing a small space? So I would say, you know, I for your for your closet especially, um, what I wanted to do was create a floating open space look. Yeah. So instead of cabinets that you know have vertical panels that protrude into the space, yeah, really an open look. So you'll see that the vanity is floating, mm -hmm. the shelves are floating. There's nothing vertical coming out, which really in, you know kind of encroaches into the space. Yeah. The wall mirrors also help to just make the space feel bigger, it's as so well true. as lighting. So you've got the chandelier, the crystal. Okay. as well as natural light coming mm -hmm. in. So all of that in combination just really kind of maximizes Keeps it open. Keeps yeah. it open. Okay, next question. Can you share some DIY takeaways from this closet? So this staging area, believe yeah. it or not, that rod is a towel bar. Wow. And so it's mounted on a custom mirror, but you know, it's still a towel bar. And That's so really this cool. is something that everyone can do. What are your top three favorite furniture stores and or brands? Oh my goodness. I know. <laughs> you know, I think so many of our furniture pieces are custom designed. Yeah. So it's, you know, but if I were to pick sort of, um, you know, off the shelf stores, yeah. I mean, I love restoration hardware. I think yeah. that they've just become so great to be able to, you know, cater if you, if you like modern, and there's a restoration hardware modern. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think they do everything. So that's that's a great place. Totally. Um, I like accessory preview. I think those are that's a great store for yeah. decor items. Um, and then we also pull a lot from West Elm. You know, if you don't have, you know, a, you know, if you're you, you're on a budget, like which most of us are, yeah. I think it's great because they get their ideas from other custom places. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I think that's a great place as well. Do you have any tips on how to turn a smaller space into a custom closet on a budget? I think it's a matter of using the pieces. So for shelving, you could get that from IKEA and then just create a beautiful design with it. Exactly. You can use use a towel bar as a scarf rod right. or a staging area. Right. Um, and then just sort of splurge on a wall mirror because I yeah. think that just makes it feel very custom. You know, for inserts, you can always go to the container store. You right. You can get, you know, sort of pre-made inserts and just put them in your drawers. Like do the best, you know, use your Tetris skills. Right. And, <laughs> and then that's just the way to organize your drawers and to be able to see everything you have. I think everyone kind of applies that in life and fashion and beauty. Yeah. Everyone kind of goes high-low. Uh-huh. So 
why not do that in your closet space right? too? That makes so much sense. And yeah. I think everyone's on a different budget. So depending on what your situation is, if you're in a yeah. dorm, if you're in an apartment, yeah. or you just bought a first house, I right. think, yeah, it's always good to sort of mix and match and do what you can. Agreed. Agreed.